What's going on everyone? In this video, I'll be walking through the SAT map digital exam, I think practice test two. So I'm gonna show you all the tips and tricks that I personally know. So let's get right into it. All right, guys, so here we go. Um, yeah, so let's walk right through this and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I would do every single problem. So number one, the line graph shows percent of cars for sale at a used car lot on a given day by model year. For what model year is percent of cars for sale the smallest? All right, so the smallest, you're just looking for the minimum point in the graph, which is right here. That is 2014. All right, so see. For a particular machine that produces beads, 29 out of 100 beads. So when I read this, I'm already thinking, all right, so I'm thinking 29 out of 100, right? I'm just thinking that in my head. It produces having defect. A bead produced by the machine will be selected at random. What is the probability of selecting a bead that has a defect? So 29 out of every 100 beads have a defect. So what's the probability of selecting a bead with a defect? Well, 29 out of 100, right? It's, it's the problem literally gives you that. It says 29 out of every 100. So turn that to a fraction and you get this. In the figure, line M is parallel to line N and line T intersects both lines. What's the value of X? So X, so this would be a nine degree angle, right? So this is wider than a nine degree angle. So we can eliminate A and B because they're less than nine degrees. Um, oh, okay, so eliminate A and B. So now, if this is 33 degrees, right, then that means this is also 33 degrees, okay? And now we can, we know that this overall angle has to be 180, and these are supplementary angles, which means they add up to 180. So 33 plus X equals 180, okay? So now to find X, all you do is subtract 33, and we're left with 147. All right, I'm not actually going to subtract 33 because I can see that 180 minus 33 is not 123, and it has to be 147 as a result, right? So let me see, you got D. And uh, like I said, guys, a lot of this is pretty basic, and if you need further uh, guidance for SAT math at all, just be sure to check out my course in the description below. So what is the y-intercept of the graph shown? Um, okay, so we have 0, 8. All right, that's pretty easy, like, come on, guys. The total cost f of x in dollars to lease a car for 36 months from a particular car dealership is given by f of x equals 36x plus 1,000, where x is a monthly payment in dollars. What is the total cost to lease a car when the monthly payment is $400? So the total cost to lease a car with monthly payment is $400. Bucks. Um, hmm. Okay, so all you have to do is plug in 400 into x, right? That's all it's asking. It's asking for the y value once you plug in 400 for x. So, um... Uh, okay, so what's 400 times 36? That's the first thing you gotta do, right? 400 times 36, well, what's 36 times four? You do four right here, two, four times three is 12, plus two is 144. Um, and then you add two zeros. Okay, and then you add a thousand because plus a thousand. So you're left with $15,400. Yeah, that's not hard at all. That was actually much easier than I thought. For a second, I thought I might need to use a calculator, but you actually don't. Each side of a square has length of 45. What is the perimeter of the square? Come on now, like, let's visually draw this. Of course, you shouldn't have to, but just in case you need to. 45 each side, so that's 45 there, 45 there, 45 there and 45 there. So what's the perimeter? You just add it all up. 45 plus 45 is 90, nine times two is 180. What is a positive solution to the given equation? So it looks like that this equation might have multiple solutions. So when you want, probably one negative, one positive, so it's probably quadratic. So you find the positive one. So let's uh, bring that, let's get that denominator out of here, all right? So 56 is equal to x squared plus six X, because you multiply both sides by X plus six, right? So X plus six to both sides, these cancel, and this is X plus six. So X squared plus six X. So now I subtract 55 from both sides, X squared minus six X, oh, sorry, plus six X minus 55. All you have to do is factor. So what two numbers add together give you six and multiply give you negative 55, 11 to negative five. So we have X, plus 11, and then x minus five, right? Um, so what's a positive solution? The positive solution is five, because if this is five, this becomes zero, that's, that's the solution right there. 
So the answer is 5. Because the other solution is negative 11. It's asking for the positive solution. An object travels at a constant speed of 12 centimeters per second. At the speed, what is the time in seconds that it would take for the object to travel 108 centimeters? Well, if you're going 12 centimeters a second, right, to find when you get to 108, all you have to do is divide. Now, don't, don't let this trip you up, guys. Digital SAT math section, sometimes, in my opinion, easier than how it used to be, like how it is for most U.S. students right now. I feel like digital SAT is actually kind of easier. So 108 divided by 12 is equal to 9. Cool. Um, yeah. That's, wow, that was very straightforward. <laughs> All right, number nine, the list gives the values in data sets X and Y, which statement correctly compares the mean of data set X and the mean of data set Y. So you wanna find the means of each and compare. So nine plus nine is 18, plus five is 23, plus 13 is 36, 36 divided by four is nine. So the mean of data set X is nine. And now I don't even have to calculate the mean for data set Y because I see that these four numbers are the same, right? This last number is 27. 27 is greater than nine, and nine is the mean of data set X, right? So we know that da the mean of data set Y will most likely, well, actually will be greater than the mean of data set X. So X's mean, right, is less than the mean of data set Y. So the mean, so say the mean of Y, so the mean of Y, right? So the mean of data set X is less than the mean of data set Y, which is correct. Now let's actually pretend we want to like do the math and really prove this. This is 36, 36 plus 27 is um, 46, 56, 63, okay? 63 divided by five is like 12.6, right? Which is greater than nine. So same thing, I was, you know? So yeah, so this is 12.6, so nine is less than 12.6. So again, you don't have to do the math, the math is just an extra step. Like I said, this is why you want to know the SAT math tricks so that way you don't have to do these extra steps and do these additional um, addition and multiplication operations. Okay, number 10. We're doing we're do number 10 and 11. Then we're probably going to end the video and go to part two, which will be after this. So a rocket contained 467k kg propelled before launch. Exactly 21 seconds after launch, thir oh, this, was, this much was left. All right. On average, approximately how much propellant a kg the rocket burned each second after launch? All right, so it looks like uh, it burned about more than hundred thousand. Let's say, like, let's say, like, uh, hundred to hundred five thousand. This is this is like um a, a estimate rounding, right? Because four sixty seven minus three sixty two is like one hundred five, like around that area. It is one hundred five actually. Um, but just like forget these numbers, right? So one hundred five thousand. Uh has been burned, right? So each second, how much was burned? So divide this by 21, we know that 100 divided by 20 is five, right? So, sorry, I said 25. 100 divided by 20 is five, correct? So 100 divided by 21, or 105 divided by 21 will be around that five area still, right? Look at the answer choices. B is at 17, C is at 39, D is at 104. Only A is around that five area, the 5,000 area. You know how everything is in thousands? So 100,000 divided by 20,000 is five. Um, yeah, and 100,000 divided by 20 is uh, 5,000, right? So in this case, this is the closest to 5,000. If four plus two equals 12, what is value 16 x plus a? All you have to do is multiply this by entire thing by four, like the, like here. Multiply the entire thing by four. Remember, when you're asked for a quantity, you want your last line of math to be 16 x plus a equals your answer. And in this case, you multiply by four, you get 16 x plus a equals 48. There we go. We don't have to even find x. And that's how you do the part one of the digital ST math section. And by the way, guys, if you made it to the end of the video, I have partnered with LearnQ.ai, which is a learning platform, which is like Khan Academy, but like on steroids. And if you are a course buyer or you purchase my course, you get the entire uh, uh, LearnQ.ai uh, platform for free. It costs like 50 bucks, I think. You get it for free, unlimited, all features for the rest of your life. So be sure to check that out. Link in the description below. Thank you for watching. Peace.